What's up, guys? Welcome to the Business Dashboard Tool, where we are giving you an in-depth rundown into the numbers in your business, as well as showing them visually for you, um, so you can best understand your business and how it's going in terms of the numbers. So starting at the top here, you can see that we're able to uh, choose the range um, that we look at. So we can look at the data just today to see just the sales that have come through today, and we can custom range that to anything we want. Really, we can make it, you know. If we want to see it from a specific date where you came into stock, um, yeah, you can tailor this as much as you like. Uh, moving on, we have the markets. So we can choose any markets that we're selling in to look at. Uh, we've got a currency uh, change, which is really cool. If you're living in Australia and you want to see how much you're making in Australian dollars, um, that's really handy. And we have here the ability to choose any product you want to just see the sales coming in for the specific products for that day. Um, for the purpose of today's demonstration, I will put this back to 30 days. And moving down, you can see here um, is pretty much all of the key metrics in terms of the numbers that you need to know for your business. So first things first, items sold. So in the last 30 days, we've sold you know 1,700 units, and we've generated 87,000 revenue, um, you know, with a net margin of 45.4% and a net profit of 39,000. And you can also see here there's the business valuation, which is currently 1.2 million, and that's based on 2.5 times your annual net profit. And if at any point you want to know what these uh, mean, if you forget, you can just hover over the little eye and I'll let you know. So scrolling down, we have the profit breakdown. Now, this is an in-depth look into your business to see where the money is going, where you're losing money, and what's left over at the end which is obviously um, what we're most interested in, right? So the profit breakdown has your gross revenue. And by the way, all of this data is pulled straight from your Amazon Seller Central account besides COGS. And your COGS, um, you will just put into your order, uh, sorry, your product here. And for each product, you'll obviously put in how much it costs. Um, but here's your, your gross revenue. Um, you know, the Amazon fees are deducted, COGS are deducted. Your advertising costs for PPC or coupons, your refunds, and it shows you the leftover amount and your net margin for the month. Now, this is probably the most important part of your business uh, to know how much margin you have left over. Moving on to the right here, you'll see there's um, you know more of a visual representation of this with a sales graph over time. And at the top here, there is a ledger with the key information. Now you can Tailor this ledger and the data you see here um, however you like. Clicking the cog wheel, you can deselect or select any of these to, to really hone in on what you want to see for your business. Um, as you can see, you know, the dark green is gross revenue, the, the yellow is net profit, uh, the light green is previous revenue, which is interesting. So you can kind of compare if your sales are increasing compared to a previous period. And down here in the pink, you'll see that we have product pulse events. Now, this is linked very closely to our product pulse tool, which you will find in monitoring and alerts. So I'll go ahead and look at that tool and watch the video there to understand that. But basically what this is, um, it, it's letting you know of an event that's taken place um, on that day for your business. So in the product pulse tool, you'll be able to choose certain events that you want to track and, you know, so for example, if you get a review or a price change or a dimension change in your business, so Guru will send you an email straight away um, to let you know. And now that also comes up here on the sales graph. So you can see here on this day on Sunday, December 6th, um, our ratings changed by two and our competitors rating changed by one. And there's also the ability to click the details as I've done here. So you can actually look into that and see exactly what changed for what product. Um, so this is really, really cool. So you can see, um, you know, for example, here, if our price changed, if, if you're running a discount or whatever it is, or if you're, you're trying to move inventory, um, having a price change that Product Pulse will pick up is super, super cool because then you can see on this graph here a visual representation of fluctuations in sale. If I had a price change to lower my product by $10, I would definitely want to see a, you know, an increase in sales um, on the graph. 
So basically, it's a historical tracker. So it's letting you know of daily events that may be happening in your business. And then you can see above it how it affected your sales. So scrolling down, we have the sales breakdown. And here's a pies chart of your organic sales and your paid sales through PPC. And here's some numbers like your ACOS. Um, on the right here, we have inventory supply. So just a quick, um, you know, quick at a glance look at how many units you have in stock and roughly how many days you have until you need to reorder. Hovering above it will tell you when to reorder based again on the information that you put in in the Your Products tab. And scrolling down here, there's just more just information that we're providing you data, you know, your best revenue for, for each product, your best profit margins, and you can choose best or worst. So you can start analyzing this data within your business. And at the very bottom here, we have the reviews, which is just your latest reviews that have been coming through. But that is the business dashboard, guys. The purpose of this is to give you the key data in your business so you can see where money is coming in, um, where money is coming out, how much is left over, and that you can really hone in into the important numbers in your business. We know that Amazon, um, you know, we're all here to make money. So, you know, having this business dashboard and this visual breakdown of your sales is so important for selling. And yeah, so if you have any more questions, guys, you can hit us up in the bottom right hand corner here, or you can email us at support at zonguru.com. Cheers, guys.